All right, hello everybody. Welcome to today's video. If you are watching this um, the day I publish it, it is actually my birthday today, which is really exciting. And I thought there was no better way to share my birthday with you all than to talk about my new planner, my new book. Um, I'm so excited to share this. If you are just here for the flip through, I'll put the timestamp on the screen right now so you can just see the inside. But if you are a frequent viewer of mine, you're probably seeing this little a6 book and you're like what the hell Tori <laughs> don't blame you I have been a Hobonichi cousin person this past year I just did my flip through I just filmed my setup video for my spring edition cousin like a couple weeks ago and I was all ready to move into the book and then this happened and this happened by like total accident I was not in the mindset of planner hopping I felt perfectly content to move into my cousin and this is just something that kind of landed in my lap and I'm so glad it did because it's been so great. Um, and if for whatever reason I wanna move back into my cousin, I still have that available to me to do that. So feeling very happy and content in this. Essentially what happened is that I have actually been wanting this specific Hobonichi cover for like years. Um, I think it came out in like 2020 or 2021. Um, so they don't sell them anymore. You can only get them if someone is reselling them online and it's so rare to find one and find one that is like actually somewhat affordable. I just randomly decided to look and see if there was any that people were wanting to sell and someone was. And the only caveat to that was that it was in the A6 size. So for like a whole 24 hours, I was just like doing crazy research, uh, freaking out, trying to determine if I wanted to make this purchase and make this switch to the A6 solely because of a cover and luckily i had the money budgeted away for that and so i decided what the heck i will just buy it i will try it out worst thing that happens is i don't like it and i can just resell it and that's totally fine and i can just use my cousin and so i have been in this book since like march 18th so a few weeks now and it's been great and i'm having so much fun i love this so much i never thought i would be an a6 girly but maybe this is this is me in, in 2024 so yeah this is the my manga and i cover from hobonichi i love her so much and i will just walk you through how i'm using this currently and how i kind of plan to use it for this year i just have my sarasa pen uh i have it clipped inside this one so it keeps my book closed which is really nice and then i just keep a pencil so i have no excuses not to sketch um when you open it i just have some stickers receipts a tommy taro makino card this is a magnetic clip from cloth and paper and then I used to keep this in my wallet but I decided to move him into my planner. It's this little toast cat and I love him because he just keeps an eye on things in here and makes sure everything is moving along as it should. And I just have like some stickers and a postcard right here. And then this is where I house my A6 Techo and my field notes notebook. So we'll start with the field notes first. Essentially, my vision for this is a companion book to the A6. Because I have been in a cousin for the past year, it is a lot bigger and I am someone who does a lot of writing. And so sizing down to an A6, I wanted to give myself the option to write more if I felt the need for it or if I wanted to jot things down or um, stick ephemera in here whatever it was i just wanted to have that available to me so i didn't feel stuck with just the a6 size or i didn't feel limited by the size this is a field notes book i'm obsessed with the cover and the color of this book i specifically bought this notebook just for this design i think it's so cute and i really really like it started kind of experimenting in this and seeing if journaling in here in the smaller size would be something that would work for me so i will flip through these pages with you i started this on march 19th and so really for me this is kind of like a little sketchbook i journal in here i've been sticking some ephemera in here from my days and it's been going really well. I didn't think the size would be enjoyable for me, but I'm finding that the small size feels very approachable. 
and it's a lot less intimidating than the cousin. So I've been doing a lot more experimenting in here. I've been sticking a lot of things in here and I just feel excited to write in this every day. And I've just been sharing little pieces of my life every day and it's been really nice. And I'm really loving this book and it's really, this is like my version of like a pocket size notebook. Um, and it's great to just stick little things in here when I want to. And so this is today, I wrote in here yesterday, and then today I just put this poem in here that I found. But that is all that I have in here so far. Um, I believe the field notebooks are 48 pages, maybe? Expecting this to last me, I don't know, maybe another month or so. And then I will just switch out pocket notebooks or field notes as I fill them out. So yeah, that has been great. And I just keep him in this little front cover so he is easily accessible to me and then here is the a6 book so same with my cousin i used the packaging in my cover this year so i cut the packaging down to size and then stuck it in my clear cover and i just put some like little stickers on it here's like a little fortune cookie fortune and i love how this looks um it's also very satisfying if you're like an asmr person like the little I don't know what this is called, like parchment paper that is on here. Just like makes little crinkle sounds and it's very satisfying. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I really like how this turned out. And I just think like the pinks together and all the colors together really like sing to me. <laughs> um, so I'll walk you through this. I'm using it very similarly to how I was using my cousin. This page, I want to mark off the months as I pass this year, which is different for me. So as the months end or pass, I will just put little uh, stickers on them. So that's why those are there. This is a note from my bestie, Holly, who I love so much. Um, this, I'm still using the same. I The only thing that's a little different is I am just coloring in a box for every book I read. So one book equals one box for that month. And then I fill out the row every day that I do some sort of physical activity, physical movement, things like that. And I love tracking those things on here. Those are the two main habits that bring me a lot of joy. And those are things I actually care to like reflect on and look back on. And so I love using this layout for that. I'm really popping off <laughs> in April. I don't know what is happening right now, but April has been really great to just like move my body. Um, so that is how I am using those pages. And then monthlies, I'm still using the same. This is appointments, events, coffee dates, birthdays. I put my favorite quotes on these margins outside here. This is like my favorite quote of all time. And I thought it was perfect for like the first month in here. It says, curiosity killed the cat, but satisfaction brought it back. She said quietly and then met his eyes. Whatever it saw or felt was so good that dying was worth it. The cat returns for more again and again, you know, nine lives and all of that. And I just thought that was so cool. And it, it kind of represents like how I feel about planners and notebooks in general. I feel like there's this, um, not stigma, but there's like this thought where planner hopping is damaging to your routine or like to your mental health and while i can understand certain extremes of that you would never say or think the same thing like with any other habit like for example if we talk about exercise maybe one month my exercise of choice is weightlifting but maybe the next month I really feel called to do yoga or that's what fits best in my lifestyle in that moment or what feels most comfortable for me. You would never like harp on someone for changing their mode of exercise, you know, like just doing the practice in itself is good for you and good for your mental health. At least it should be. Sometimes you don't know what's good for you until you try it. And I feel it's like the same thing with planners. Like no matter what book I use, I'm still engaging in the practice of planners and journaling in general. So like planner hopping is not inherently bad, even though the community kind of views it that way, if that makes sense. And so I just really like the curiosity killed the cat quote because I think that happens to a lot of us in the planner community and we want to try things and we see things and experiment. We always come back for more every time again and again. So I really like that quote. I think it's just a good introductory quote into this book. If you're someone who planner hops or you have that urge, don't beat yourself up. 
it's normal it's fine it's healthy you just like make sure you're taking care of yourself anyways that's my <laughs> uh, rant of the day the lines on here i track my period on these two so i will just draw a line on the days that that is happening more quotes appointments things like that and then here is april i did it in my 2024 20, cousin setup but this year for tracking birthdays i put these little pixel stickers that i got from mini super i just picked a character that i thought related to that person the most or reminded me of them and that is like how i am tracking birthdays this year so this is me um or like <laughs> what i think looks like me um, and so I just have little characters for like the people in my life and the birthdays that I want to track. If there's something different I'm doing this year, which I really enjoy and I think it's really good. I finally have Holly's birthday on the right day. Holly, if you're watching, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, this has been really fun. So if you see these random little guys in here, that's what that is. And so those are all the monthlies. And then these last couple monthlies in here, I think this goes into like June or May, but I wanted to utilize some of the space back here. So for this month, I am using this as a finance and bills tracker. So I just did this all on sticky notes. So if I do end up needing this April calendar, I can just rip them off. I am kind of just ignoring like the day of the week and I'm just using these for like the date of the month and this is just when i have bills due if there's a dot next to it it means it is automatically getting taken out of my account if there is no dot that means i need to go in and pay for it through i don't know my portal or whatever I really like referencing this and just saying what's upcoming and then i also put in when i expect to get income so those have been really good and this has been really helpful so that's something new this is my son's kindergarten schedule, which there's no identifying information on this or anything, but I just keep it covered, I don't know, for peace of mind. This is something else new that I'm doing this year. So this is like a mini Kanban board. I wanted an area that was specifically my personal goals and projects that was outside of my job, outside of my nine to five. So I have four kind of projects that I wanna work on this year. That is to build a website, build out my Patreon or my YouTube memberships, um, create a sticker sheet, and then create kind of like my brand outside of Tori on paper. So I like the that this is very small. I like that the to-dos, like you can only fit a couple to-dos at a time. It makes it feel a little less intimidating and a little bit more manageable to get stuff done when you don't have this like huge list of things you need to do staring at you. And so I've been kind of working on this, chipping away. And then as things get done, I will probably just archive these into like a different notebook or something. But this is something new. We'll see if it works this year or if I continue it. But so far, I do really like this and I'm enjoying this. And then we get into the dailies. This year, or at least for right now, I think I want to do a painting every like cover page of the month in this daily section. So... April is my birth month. I turned 27 this year, so uh, for this month I just painted these little candles. And then I'm using this as a page per day, so I'm journaling in here. Um, there's ephemera, there's sketches, so really this notebook for me is kind of all in one. I'm using it as a planner, a sketchbook, a journal, memory keeping, all of that um, kind of in one notebook. And I'm still using my Hobonichi Weeks. That is not going away, but at least for this book, I'm kind of using it for everything. And so um, these daily pages are really just like journaling, memory keeping, art, sketching, kind of whatever I'm in the mood for that day. And I've been really loving the size. Something else that I have done in here, um, which I'll show you, let me take this out. So in, there's one I didn't do, so I could show you this one. So normally in the A6 size, you have this timeline um, right here with this uh, kind of line and then the check boxes. I'm someone who likes to write with margins, and so if I was to write with margins, like how this is set up in my brain, I would want to start writing like at this box right here, which like takes away a lot of space for me. So what I have done is I have gone through with my Posca pen and just white out the timeline 
this line and then the check boxes and it's nice because the Posca pen doesn't completely um, cover it so it kind of just lets the lines blend into the grid already so when you compare like this page to this page this one looks just like a little bit bigger and more like open if that makes sense and I feel like it just um, looks a little bit cleaner so that's something that I've been doing in here but yeah this has been going really good um, here was yesterday here is today obviously I've been putting some of my pictures in um, experimenting a little bit I'm kind of going back to like print handwriting and then if there's something like private I'll just do cursive for the day or something but yeah I've only obviously been writing in these for like five days but this is going great and I'm loving this so far and I just think again the small size has really clicked something in my brain in regards to like my art and my artistic identity and like what I want to create and like kind of like where I'm trying to go and this has been really refreshing and just makes it seem a lot more manageable and less scary <laughs> for me so that has been great and then to supplement all the kind of space that I was losing that I did in my like weekly sections in the cousin um, I am keeping track on my pencil board. So this I will usually just have on the current day and this is kind of like my weekly dashboard um, which has been going great. So I made these printables um, which I did another video on but essentially this is my to-do list so all my work tasks that I need to get done. This one is for any appointments um, or events that are happening that week that I just need to keep in the back of my head. Um, and then this is kind of like my habit tracking. And if you'll notice, I only have six days on my habit tracking. It's because I don't track Sunday. Sundays for me are just like a do nothing day. Like whatever you do is great, like no expectations. So I only track six days of the week. And then I have a little bill tracker. So I will use this with that, uh, where is it? The little finance calendar. And I will just reference this at the beginning of each week to see which bills I have coming up. And this has just been kind of like, yeah, my little dashboard of the week. And then at the end of the week, I just rip these off and start fresh. And it's really great. And these aren't something that I feel like I will want to archive. I look through my books. I don't really care about all the tasks that I got done or, you know, like all the routines that I did that week. The only routines I really care about tracking are the ones that are in here. And so I'm fine with throwing these away and just keeping this or like archiving this stuff. So this has been really nice. I'll probably play around with different printables and try some different things, but this has been great and I like keeping it um, on this little pencil board. And then in the back, I haven't done anything with these graph pages. If I do, I'll let you guys know, but there's nothing planned. Um, this is just like contact info. And then, yeah, that's all I have back here. And then in the very back of my cover, I have this Polaroid of my fiance and I. Well, he's like my husband at this point. We've actually been together nine years um, and he's my kid's father. We just haven't like ever got married. Uh, I just, I don't know, I'm not in the rush to. So I call him my fiance, but really he's my husband, but um, he's my best friend. So that is housed back here. And then there's some little, um, note pages and then a postcard that I keep. So that is the book. Obviously I'm in the very beginnings of it but this has been going really great. I'm really loving this. It kind of came out of nowhere and I know sometimes when you watch creators for specific books they use it can be frustrating when they change systems. If you're feeling that I totally understand where you're coming from. I just would be doing myself a disservice if I didn't at least try something that I was interested in. So this has been going really good. I actually traveled to New York um, this weekend for my birthday. And so I'm really excited to actually be able to travel with this. If I was in my cousin, I would probably leave it home. But since this is such a small portable size, it will be perfect uh, for travel. So I'm glad I get to take her with me. Um, if you guys have any questions on anything I mentioned in here, let me know. I will link everything um, that I use that I can find in the description for you guys if you're interested. But I appreciate you guys being here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.